Greetings! <laughs> oh dear. Okay, this is a Ficus Benjamina. It was originally in a clump style. Um, the one in the middle actually died because of the uh, the remaining ones around it. I think just overcrowded it and it just died off in the end. So I just cut it down and left them all um, as they were really. Um, but um, instead of having this clump style, um, I decided to try and get them to fuse into one single tree. Um, I've actually used elastic here. Um, I started at the bottom, tied a loop and um, just wound it all the way up to here and then back down again and then just tied it off there. Just making sure that it's nice and tight. Every, every turn is nice and tight all the way up and down. Um, it's probably been on now for about, I don't know, give or take a couple of months. Um, I don't think it's going to have fused um, already. Um, it can take, you know, a few months, I suppose. Um, but yeah, so um, I'll keep you updated anyway of how um, how it progresses. I think there in the summer, it'll probably, yeah, it's spring and summer. Um, yeah, there's going to be like more chance of it all merging into one. Uh, because of the growth but yeah this is the kind of elastic anyway I'll show you the elastic that I used okay so this is the elastic that I used um, it's kind of just normal fabric elastic that you normally use for like sewing um, I'm sure you can get some from your wife's um, <laughs> sewing box <laughs> just don't tell her um, anyway um, <clears throat> just um, yeah all I've done is just um, I just basically tied a loop on the end, just like that, and then imagine this is all of the uh, trunks that you want to merge into one. Um, what you do is like you place the loop like so, get the rest of it here, take it around, and what you want to do is just feed all that there through the loop. I mean, this is how I did it. You don't have to do it this way, whichever way works. Okay, just watch me fumble about with this now. Fumbling now. Right, there we go. So there we go, that's, that's how it starts anyway. And then, uh, but then what you want to do, the first step is pretty much the most important step, which is making sure that it's super tight. Um, so what I'm going to do is just try and do that now, like so. There, yeah. so you want to do it so that you're coming back on the loop so you're not going forward because that will just slip here so it will just slip around if you go this way so you want to come back on yourself this way pulling it really really tight really tight super duper tight tight okay and every time you just do a, a fraction at a time twist and pull twist pull it's very a long process but it needs to be, I, I can't stress that enough, it needs to be super tight. So then you go all the way up to where you want to go. And then when you've got to the top of where you want to go, you will come back down again. All the way back down. So when you're back to the bottom, um, then all you do is just, um, when you've come to the bottom, what I did was uh, just um, cut the... Uh, the end so you got like two pieces there and then wrap them round like so to create a sort of knot here to stop it all from coming loose so it's nice and tight I mean that ain't going nowhere um, the reason why I use elastic is because wire unfortunately um, it will cut into the trunk and it will leave marks and in most cases these marks will be permanent so you'll end up with wire marks going all the way up, up the, the trunk. Um, so this is probably like the best way that I can think of so far, um, which minimalizes that and will still do the job. Um, the only downside is, is if you have uh, a Vicus Benjamini, for example, in the UK, it's an indoor uh, bonsai during autumn and winter. It can go out during the spring and summer. Um, but with this on, uh, that might be a problem because obviously in the summer it's going to get really hot which is going to dry out the elastic and cause it to snap and go brittle. So there is that kind of thing to consider. Um, 
but for now I'm just gonna leave it like this um, it's been it's, it's gotta have been a couple of months since it's on I don't know how long it's gonna take how long is a piece of elastic <laughs> you know kind of deal but yeah I'll leave it till the summer anyway maybe midsummer and um, maybe put it in a shade outside I don't know I'll try it and see how it goes but yeah um, like I said, uh, the one died, but uh, all the rest are still thriving. So I'm just gonna, it's just an experiment, and if it works, great. If it doesn't, no harm, no foul. Anyway, I hope that's uh, of some use. So, one, one, have fun. <laughs>